Hello everyone and welcome to For Honor World. Today we're in Season 5 and we will be going over all the new max punishes with my friend Nice Guy Count. Say hi Count. Hello. So we're going to hop in, in a couple 1v1s with gear stats off and we're going to show you the max punishes for each character that was reworked in Season 5. Now, uh, the reworked characters are as follows. We have Conquer, Highlander, Berserker, Kensei, and Nabushi. All of them were reworked and, to some degree and have similar or the exact same punishes as I did. And we will be going over uh, all of them at, right now. So, Conquer has a very similar punish to what he did last season. He... Uh, many people would debate over whether you should do a charge heavy or a top heavy. In this video, we are going to be showing you both with the UI on so you can see for yourself which one is better. Obviously, we already know which one's better, but we're just gonna, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you could gladly get yourself out of stamina by spamming a bunch of top heavies, because you can spam for days. Two hours later. You throw him to the wall to the side, top heavy, top heavy. You do a maximum of 66 damage. You could use a uh, normal charged heavy and make it top, but that will only do, what was it, 40 damage? So you got 60 versus, uh, 63 versus 40 damage. That's conquers, and it's not really that big of a punish but it's still the same but they buffed his heavies so it's still a good punish off to highlander highlander on the other hand he's his punish is a bit weird uh some very few people know from last season uh that you could actually get a super 80 day uh super punish for highlander truth is that only works for bots the true maximum punish for Highlander was Celtic Curse into Top Heavy, which we will demonstrate below. If you're fighting a bot, regardless of level, this punish that we are about to show you will work, but for players, it is not. We believe this to be a bug, but it could very well not be. That's just... Uh, so, if my friend Kant would lovely like to spam his, heavy, uh, his heavies, not zones, not zones! Not zones. Ah, fix. You know, whatever. What you do is you grab them, throw you behind you, or to a wall, and ah, I've screwed it up. There we go, and that gives a lovely 60 damage. But if they are ever out of, if the body is out of stamina, on the other hand, you can throw them to the side. Get a Celtic Curse into Top Heavy. This won't work on players though, because there's a very slight frame where they can block. So, we're just gonna kill Count real quick. <laughs> Count's being very quiet because I'm recording. But yeah, uh, that's basically the punish for Highlander. If he's a bot, throw him to the side, do a Celtic Curse. If it's a player, Throw him forward into a wall, then do a light, then top heavy for a total of 60 damage. The difference is 20 damage, so if it's a bot, you get an extra almost full bar. But if it's a player, you're just going to have to deal with what you got. Berserker, on the other hand, his punish changed immensely. And we're going to show you uh, both punishes, his previous punish and his current punish. His previous punish got nerfed. His new punish is much better and much more balanced at the same time. So we're going to show you both. If Count can survive, that is. Count, do you think he'll survive? Not at all. That's a very wise answer. <laughs> I, for some reason, have my phone on still. Uh... So yeah, for those that don't know, Kong's top heavy was nerfed in the in the latest patch. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have I mean, to. I mean, Berserker. I, I would whatever. 
Uh, what you do is you throw them forward, you do a side heavy, then you do another side heavy, and bring into the third. But the third is not guaranteed, which is why you can feint it for a parry, and just like you might do Lawbringer, and uh, therefore punish them greatly for that. Next one is Berserker's Old Punish. Now, as you see, it didn't do it didn't do near as much. Well, actually, it did about the same with a slight difference, but it was better to do the unblockable because you can lead that straight into another chain because Zerk can faint into hyper armor moves, which I clearly did not do over there. Well, I did it after I killed Count. I'm sorry. Here, have some more. Next up is Kensei, and I love Kensei's punish because not many people know about it yet. Not many people know about it. Remember, all these punishes were if you threw someone. Kensei's punish works regardless if you throw them or if they get parried. So, it's pretty great. Uh, I, I think so. So, as long as Count falls down on the ground, you can get this punish with Kensei. You just have to be very quick to do it. And also, I will show you his true parry punish as well. So if Count would uh, also throw a heavy off to the side for me to parry, that'd be great too as soon as we start. Because um, he, he's going to have to do this in one shot. <laughs> so and, just side, uh, side heavies. Yeah. So the true punish, people think you normally go for a top light. You don't go for a top light. You do a simple, you do a sim, uh, yeah, do it again. I messed up because I delayed it. See, there's a slight dim uh, difference between the top light and the helm splitter. The problem is if you do helm splitter, back up a bit, back up, back up. If you do helm splitter, you can bring it straight into your blockable. So you sacrifice three damage for going extremely far in your chain. Which is pretty good, wouldn't you say? Now Count will gladly get rid of his stamina. And here is his true here is Kensei's true punish. You throw him in any direction. And I screwed up. You throw him in any direction and you do helm splitter into unblockable. But I screwed up again because peer to because uh, peer to peer. Also PC does have peer-to-peer, -peer, but for custom matches, we currently don't, so it's pretty weird. And as you can see, he screwed up. The unblockable part of it is completely uncounterable once you fall down. And people will sometimes think they can counter it and go to parry it as soon as they get back up. Unbeknownst to them, you already completed it. So you can just continue on with the punish, or you can end their end their lives right then and there. So it's a pretty powerful Kensei punish. It did what was it, 60 damage? Uh, uh oh, Count, you didn't ready up, buddy. I did. <laughs> oh, no. Please hold on while we fix our technical difficulties. Hey, uh, uh, you know Dark what? Magic. We're back! Kind of. Can't. What was that dark magic? Uh, <laughs> next up, we have Nabushi's. Nabushi's didn't change all that much, but her punish is still her punish. If you managed to get it off, good for you. You did a very good punish. If you didn't, boohoo. You're Nabushi. <laughs> count. Yes? We're loading count. Anyway, we're back. Uh, so, Count, get rid of your stamina. Yep. You throw him. And that is her full punish. You basically just throw him down forward, regardless of a wall, and you can get your zone. You can also get this while you parry, so it's pretty standard. Nabushi does more damage uh, once an opponent is bleeding, so 
you can take care of them as you wish. As you can see, Count's pretty much dead just from that. So, yeah. That's pretty much how uh, the the full punishes for all the rework characters in For Honor Season 5. Some of them had changed punishes, some of them did not. Some of them are under certain situations, meanwhile others, arguable. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, make sure you know what to do. And don't forget to subscribe for more content. Also, share some love for Count in the comments below, because he had to die many times for this video to work. Sadly. See you guys. Bye-bye.